Rohan, what is my mantra, man? Like, come on. Well, I think it's more of mind. It's more of mindset. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is my mantra? Oh, you want me to give his mantra? First yours. I don't know what my mantra is, man. When we started off, so around 2014, in the startup ecosystem, there was a lot of funds that had set up, a lot of the same institutions that existed in these foreign markets. In India, what we saw was that a lot of the classic global venture capital funds had come and set up shop, right? A Sequoia, a Matrix, uh, a Kane, and then the indigenized funds like a Helion, a Nexus, a Kalari. And they were all doing a phenomenal job of deploying capital at slightly later stages. But I saw that you know, there was few people trying to build something more catered towards the earlier stage of entrepreneurs. So we tried to figure out what the pain points were for these entrepreneurs very, very early on. And obviously, you know, physical space was just one of them. We just said, look, let's start with the physical space and let's be very, very selective about who we bring in here. So we only bring in teams that we think may be potentially investment worthy in the future. We've always had an inclination to obviously be entrepreneurs ourselves. The hard decision was whether do we want to start a company of our own or do we want to start a sort of platform business, right? That's what I call what we do, a platform business where other high quality entrepreneurs can plug in and build businesses of their own. Rather than being an investment first kind of vehicle, by being more on the founder side of the ecosystem, um, that is very helpful to what we're doing. So it's very helpful to the startups we work with as well, because I think investment is incidental to what we're doing, right? Sure, that's where a lot of the success comes from. But for all the startups that come through the funnel, we are able to sort of become this layer between the emerging founder ecosystem and a lot of seasoned industry leaders. What we've tried to foster here is a bit of a community and get a lot of like-minded people working together and actually helping each other grow than having a necessarily competitive nature only. A lot of startups are trying to disrupt and solve problems that larger companies are looking at too. So often it makes sense for them to work together. We try to really plug these companies into business opportunities for them. So for example, if there's a company in the telecom space that's created a new technology, um, we can bring in people at a CXO level within the telecom industry in India or globally as informal advisors to them. We never wanted to raise money in our own business. We put up that capital ourselves. So, uh, you know, we spent, uh, you know, about half a million dollars across three physical locations. Uh, this one here in Gurgaon, then one opposite IIT Delhi, and then our third one in Koramangla in Bangalore. And above and beyond that, we actually invested personal capital in the companies that we found uh, to be exciting at an early stage. We're very, very fortunate. We have a phenomenal investment committee. Um, three people I look up to you know, very, very much. One of them is a gentleman called Sanjay Kapoor. The second one is Rahul Khanna. And the third is a dear friend, a guy called Kashyap Deora, who's perhaps uh, you know, India's most prolific serial entrepreneur. Um, it's interesting working with your brother. Uh, we're very close. We share similar interests. Um, we've been to the same uh, schools and universities throughout. We have similar sets of friends. But funnily, we're very different as people. I want to disagree with everything he says just because that's what I've done growing up. I mean, there's no excitement if you're not going to disagree all the time. So it's very irritating for him, I think, and you can ask him about that. Um, but it's actually very productive in the investment side work we have to do. It creates very, very healthy debates. And when you're a small company and you're growing fast, there's obviously very limited bandwidth and you can't do everything at once. So. I think just having this characteristic of being able to know what's important, one way I really get things done is that I'll obsessively focus on one thing until it's done. For me, the one mantra that you know I have learned along the way, it's not something that I came preaching from day one, but it's something I learned along the way is that there is an opportunity in absolutely every situation. Whether it's an opportunity to financially succeed, whether it's an opportunity to actually learn something about yourself, whether it's a life lesson, whether it's an opportunity to learn something about the other person that you're dealing with. The reasons for why you want to be an entrepreneur are the most important. 
yes, do a startup, start a business, but be cognizant of the different kinds of companies there are and be very deliberate about the ones you're choosing to build. Are you just building, what are your motivations? Are you just building something because there's opportunity in tech that's kind of abstract? Um, I think that's probably not the best way to approach it. I think the question is more, what do you want from it? Why are you doing it? Find a real problem and make sure that you're committed to solving it. Don't be an entrepreneur, quote unquote, for the sake of being an entrepreneur, the sake of being a role boss. It requires a particular DNA. It requires a particular vision and focus and uh, your ability to be able to execute. Superhero